health benefits of basil seeds. There are many names for this cool, healthy seed, but today we're just going to call them basil seeds and we're going to talk about their health benefits. But first, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for all sorts of great health tips. Let's talk for a second about these literal babies. Obviously, they eventually grow into basil, which is a culinary herb. But today, we focus mainly on the seeds, which have some surprising health benefits. Health benefit number one, they are a great source of minerals. In order to survive, humans need a litany of minerals. Luckily, basil seeds are a great place to find these essential parts of our diet. We'll begin by saying they're awesome for getting calcium, magnesium, and iron, all things which we use for bone health, muscle function, and red blood cell production. In fact, based on US product nutrition labels, one tablespoon, 13 grams or 0.5 ounces of basil seeds supplies 15% of the reference daily intake, RDI, for calcium and 10% of the RDI for magnesium and iron. These basil seeds could be essential in the diet of anyone who doesn't eat meat or dairy because that's where most people get iron and calcium. So vegans, take note. Health benefit number two, they have a lot of fiber. Like calcium, magnesium, and iron, we need fiber in order to survive. Every Health reports that the national fiber recommendations are 30 to 38 grams a day for men and 25 grams a day for women between 18 and 50 years old, and 21 grams a day if a woman is 51 and older. Luckily for us, we can find a lot of fiber in basil seeds. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration tells us that just one tablespoon of basil seeds supplies 7 grams of fiber, which is 25% of the RDI. They also say that only about 5% of Americans eat enough fiber, which can be alleviated if they would only eat more basil seeds. The fiber in basil seeds has a lot of health benefits in itself. For starters, it can support gut health. Basil seeds are high in a type of fiber called pectin, which is great for your stomach. Apparently, pectin has what some experts call prebiotic benefits. Essentially, that means it supports some awesome gut bacteria. As you may or may not know, some bacteria is good for the body, and that good bacteria is exactly what you might get if you eat basil seeds. This includes the bacteria that will give your body anti-inflammatory properties, which might even make your stomach look smaller. Speaking of which, pectin also helps you feel fuller. It was discovered that pectin may delay stomach emptying and increase hormone levels that promote a sense of fullness. Even though scientists don't see basil seeds as an effective weight loss strategy, we like to let people think for themselves. Why don't you try adding basil seeds to your diet and let us know in the comment section below if it helped you feel fuller. Next on the fiber-related health benefits of basil seeds, we're going to talk about their effect on your blood sugar. A study done by a group of scientists discovered that when people with type 2 diabetes ate 10 grams, three-fourths of a tablespoon, of basil seeds in water after each meal for a month, their post-meal blood sugar was 17% lower than at the start of the study. So if you've got high blood sugar, try out some basil seeds. Finally, basil seeds can help you out if you've got bad cholesterol. Studies have found that people who eat at least 30 grams of basil seeds per day had an 8% drop in total cholesterol. This is because of the pectin, once again. The compound ends up inhibiting cholesterol absorption in your stomach. Wow, there sure are a lot of fiber-related health benefits of basil seeds. Bottom line, add these to your diet if you've got problems that can be fixed with fiber. Health benefit number three, they have a lot of plant compounds. You might not think plant compounds can help you because you're, you know, a human. Unless you're a plant, in which case, that's cool you're watching YouTube videos. However, plant compounds actually have a lot of sweet benefits if they're consumed. For starters, in basil seeds, you'll find flavonoids and other polyphenols. Research done by the Birla Institute of Technology has linked flavonoids with some cool health benefits. They say that flavonoids are antioxidants, meaning that they protect your cells from damage by free radicals. These plant compounds also have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. To confirm this fact, a piece of research done by Vitt University showed that basil seed extract killed harmful bacteria and triggered the death of cancer cells. 
Also, a study done by the University of Granada showed that flavonoids are linked to a reduced risk in heart disease. So if you're looking to reduce your risk of cancer and heart disease, then add basil seeds to your diet. Health benefit number four, you can drink them too. These aren't only for eating, no, no, they are apparently great in drinks. The people at Healthline tell us that basil seeds have long been used in drinks in India and Southeast Asia. A popular cold beverage-like dessert in India is faluda, made with basil seeds, rose-flavored syrup, and milk. Some versions add ice cream, noodles, or fruit. So next time you're looking for a drink chocked full of fiber and healthy plant compounds, then maybe make some faluda next time you get thirsty. Health benefit number five, it's a good source of omega-3 fat. Source of plant compounds, source of fiber, source of minerals, and now we add yet another thing of which basil seeds can be a source. A study done by the Research Institute of Food Science and Technology discovered that basil seeds contain an average of 2.5 grams of fat per one tablespoon serving. Within this fat, you'll find alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, and omega-3 fat. Your body uses this compound in order to produce energy, and it also has some anti-inflammatory properties as well. While there is no official daily average for alpha-linolenic acid, a piece of research done by a group of scientists determined that 1,100 milligrams or 1,600 milligrams per day for women and men, respectively, is considered an adequate intake of this essential fatty acid. You'll find 1,240 milligrams of alpha-linolenic acid per tablespoon. Essentially, what we're saying is one tablespoon of these seeds will give you your daily intake of alpha-linolenic acid. So you'll have more energy too. Awesome! Health benefit number six, you can put them in anything. Because they're generally flavorless, you can toss basil seeds into anything without compromising your dish. Luckily, Healthline has provided us with a helpful list of things you can put basil seeds in, but honestly, it's really anything. Smoothies. Add some basil seeds to your next fruit smoothie. Milkshakes. Chocolate and basil seed milkshake, yes please. Lemonade and other drinks. Add some fiber, omega-3 fat, plant compounds, and minerals to this cool summer staple. Soups. When you're sick, have some chicken noodle and basil seed soup. Salad dressings. Diets become a lot more potent when you add some basil seeds to your salad dressings. Yogurt. Whether it's Greek or not, this dairy will have even more calcium and iron after you add basil seeds. Pudding, hot cereal like oatmeal, whole grain pancakes. You can make breakfast great again by adding basil seeds to your pancakes. Whole grain pasta dishes, bread and muffins. However, before you start going online or to Asian food markets to buy these things, keep in mind some of them may have been treated with pesticides. There is a process to soaking these things, which we'll bring you through right here, right now. Step one. To begin, you'll want to use one cup of water per one tablespoon of basil seeds. This is because the seeds will only absorb as much water as they need. Too much will leave them soggy, and too little might cause them to clump. Step two. After you've added the seeds to the water, you'll want to let them sit for about 15 minutes. Don't be turned off if they start to swell. That's what they're supposed to do. They should become about triple their size, and the seed's gel-like outer portion will turn gray. The center of the seed will not change color. It'll stay black. It will also have a very light crunch when you chew it. Step three. Once you've gone ahead and let them soak, it's time to add them to the recipe. After a quick strain, you should be able to just toss them into whatever you're making. Oh, and keep this in mind, if you're putting them into soup or something equally liquid, you don't need to bother with the soaking. And so, our list of the health benefits of basil seeds is complete. What did you learn about these awesome little things? Did we forget a thing or two? Let us know in the comments section below everything we might have missed about basil seeds. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.